Hi, beautiful. You, you, you just keep getting more and more gorgeous every time I see your face. I had no idea that was even possible, but look at you, proving what I thought was impossible to be possible. I'm gonna be totally honest with you, today's been bullshit. I was supposed to film several other videos today. All just weren't cutting it for me. I basically, you know, freaked out like four times today and then decided, you know what? It. <laughs> I want to do some hair color. It's been a minute since I've played with a wig. I just keep thinking about this wig in my head that I want to create. And so today's my day to do it. I was researching like different techniques I could try out, different things I could do. And I came across this video of Mr. Guy Tang doing this wonderful, prismatic, glowing moment. It was just so magical and this girl looked so good in it. And I was like, I want that on my head. Have I done this prism thing before? Yes. Did it come out that good? No. I want to give it another shot. And this time, bring in some backup to help me because this stuff takes way too long to do and I'm not trying to stay up till 1 a.m. doing this. I'm gonna try and do it to the best of my abilities because I just wanna wear a pretty wig today and just feel cute. So with that awful intro all complete. Oh my God, I hope this video's like, okay. <laughs> I hope I post this. Let's just do it. Let's just get into this and hopefully I don't lose my mind by the end. Oh, who am I kidding? My mind's already lost. I haven't seen my mind in a long time. All right, let's get it started. Cool, great. Hi, Gorge. Oh my God, we look kind of cute. So he basically did this triangle parting in the front because we're gonna have this really beautiful purple panel going down on top of this prismatic moment underneath. Yeah, hopefully it looks good. Wigs are not that easy to part because this has tracks. There is going to be a triangle right here, kind of. This is all gonna be one color, purple, beautiful. Okay, so now we're doing a, a little sort of diamond section on this side and the other side, but um, obviously it's a wig and it's not really looking like a diamond, but you get the point. If you want an actual tutorial on how to do this, go to Guy Ting's video, it's linked below. This is just gonna be me shooting the sh and having fun with you guys. <laughs> Today. So I'm just gonna part out the rest um, and I will show you when I'm done. Okay, so here is my sectioning. It's wild, yeah. I'm gonna start painting the roots of the sections that are down right now. It's gonna be the kind of a lavender gray moment, like a slate gray mixed with lavender. It's gonna be really pretty and really nice and deep. And the ends will be just lavender straight up. So it's gonna have a nice gradient from a grayish lavender to a really light lavender. I think it'll look really, really pretty. I'm gonna have my hairstylist friend Cassidy come on camera. You guys have seen it many times and she's gonna help me apply that on the other side because I don't want to be here all night. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we have started painting the root purple. It's this beautiful deep purple color. We probably should have put a little more gray in there. Honestly, <laughs> Cassidy, I mean, it's looking... <laughs> a lot of gray in there. <laughs> it's definitely purple. We're avoiding the root area so that we don't get it on the lace. It's really hard with wigs because obviously if you color the lace, it looks so fake and then I have to go back and bleach the knots and all this I did lay down some got to be glued on the lace. That way the lace doesn't get colored and we have a little bit of assurance there. But also we are just tapping the root and not even going on it to ensure that we don't color the lace. All right, so we finished all the roots and now we're gonna start painting the ends lavender. As you can see, the roots are nice and deep purple. I love it. And of course, right in between where both of the colors meet, we're gonna use our fingers and make sure it's all blended nicely and there's no seams. So we're just combing it through. I always love to comb semi-permanent color through because it is very conditioning and easy to comb through. You know, your hands just can only get it to be so even. Now we are working on the holographic part, which is the part that drives me crazy. We have a beautiful Framar Gay Pride <laughs> foil to use today. And it's actually really nice because we can just follow the pattern on this because it is already rainbow. Okay, so we're taking a super fine section. That way all the hair color penetrates through both sides evenly. If you take too big of a section when you do this, it definitely doesn't saturate enough. This is kind of the really annoying, tedious part where you have to do all the colors in the rainbow over and over and over and over again until you finish the entire section and just make sure that it's all even and perfect. Also, while I'm doing this, we're gonna answer some Q&A questions. So anybody who has my number, this is my number. I asked all you guys if you have any questions for me and I'll be answering them now. And if you've never texted me before, make sure you do. This is my number. I actually can text you back. I see all your messages, so go for it. Let's do it, Emma. What do we have? Irazima asked you, would you ever open up your own salon? Ha! 
No. <laughs> no. I grew up in a salon and it was just a lot and I kind of promised myself I would never do that. Jennifer asked you, is Exmondo going to have a color line? You know what, Jennifer? That would be amazing. Of course I'm gonna have a color line. Maybe sooner than you might think. Sarah asked you, what's your favorite part of being a hairstylist? It's making people feel beautiful, honestly. I live for transformations and there's nothing more fun to me than getting a girl who has so much potential and transforming them and having them blossom right before my eyes. It's just really exciting. A lot of your fans wanna know, cause I keep seeing this question. Kelly in particular asked this one. She goes, do you have a boyfriend? <gasps> Kelly. Yeah. Yes, Kelly. I have have a boyfriend. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> all of you. I don't know if I really want a boyfriend, Kelly. It's just a lot of work and I don't have time. So that's my first section down, you guys. Honestly, wow. thank you, Framar, because this made my life so much easier. And these little sections of colors are like perfect amount. Now I'm gonna lay down the next section and the next section to keep going and answer some more questions for you guys. Ashley wants to know, are you going to be doing any future meet and greets? Ashley, I had so many meet and greets planned this year and they all got canceled, obviously. This was the year that I said, okay, I really wanna go out there and do some, you know, meetups, meet and greet, everything. I wanna actually talk to you guys, do things, do events, all that shit. And I couldn't and everything got canceled. And actually the day before an event that I was supposed to have, which was one of the biggest events I was gonna have, it got canceled. So that was pretty heartbreaking, but we got over it. And yes, hopefully in the near future, once <laughs> things, you know, I don't know, at some point change in the world, we can, we can start that again. Hannah wants to know, do you have any advice for aspiring hairstylists? Education. No, it's really important that you take good classes. After you go to hairdressing school, you progress with education and never stop getting educated, whether that be through YouTube videos or at events, anything like that, or work at a really good salon that has great education, which is like what Cassidy and I did. You've been getting this a lot and you know, I love ice cream, so I'm very, very interested to know too. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Anna asked you that. Oh my God, Anna. What a question, huh? I know what my favorite ice cream is. It's what by is it? Van Leeuwen's. They have one, I don't know if they actually sell it like anywhere else besides their store in Manhattan. They have this cookies and jam. It's literally incredible. And last time I went there, which was like a few days ago, they didn't have it and I actually started crying. Hannah wants to know, how is your puppy? Science good. She is a little menace and gets into a lot of bullshit. We love her. When is Wave Tech coming back? Madeline! Cassidy, when's Wave Tech coming back? Wave Tech will be back in approximately one month. <gasps> wow, really? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you guys can sign up uh, on our waiting list below and we'll notify you when Wave Tech is back. You can be one of the first to buy it. Just finished doing the rainbow sections. It was so annoying for me. Cassidy loved it. I am not too keen on doing these very time consuming color jobs. It's a lot for me at the end of a long day, okay? We're making progress though. We're good, we're going, we're doing this. So now I am actually gonna change this up a little bit. These two sections on the top, I'm doing a purple root with periwinkle colored ends. And in the back, Cassidy's going to do the same thing with the dark kind of gray purple root with the lavender ends. We work together in salon and now she works on business development side of Ex Mondo. So we've been working together for a while. Cassidy, so tell everybody, what, <laughs> what is it like working for me? It's definitely fun. It's definitely a little chaotic sometimes. I mean, I thrive in chaos, I think. Yeah. I feel that. I mean, obviously like I always loved hair, but I think, you know, being able to like develop products and stuff is like super cool and getting to play with them and test them and like see your idea come to life. Cassidy and I work closely together on product development because we both kind of have the same taste in like products and what we want to see in products. And once we decide on all that stuff, that's when you guys see the finished product. Um, it's a lot of work that goes into it. We've been working on some products for over a year now and when they come out it's very exciting and you know Cassidy has been working on it since the beginning of the year so she 
has gotten to see things come from ideas to reality. Isn't it so cool? It's so cool. <laughs> I'm working on this periwinkle moment now and um, I just hope this doesn't turn out green because our hair is super yellow and this is a pretty light blue. Today we're using Arctic Fox, guys, if you were wondering. Cassidy and I are almost finished with this. I am really digging the periwinkle moment in the front with the purple roots. I think it looks so freaking pretty. How's yours going? Good, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great, thanks for the update. And boom, we are done with the application process. This is looking so pretty, this periwinkle at the ends with the purple roots. Oh! I can't wait to see what it's washed out. Everything's processing, looking beautiful. We're gonna wait a little bit, rinse this out and do some styling. Definitely don't ever do this if you wanna not lose your mind because I'm completely gone right now. Why do I film these things that just take so long and so much patience at the end of the day? I just worked like nine hours and now I'm doing this. Like why? Because I'm crazy. That's oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna show you everything, but it's looking really, really good. I let her dry on her own for a few hours because wigs are just, they just take way too long to dry and I don't wanna stand here for four hours. So I went and ate, came back and she is much more dry. And let me just give you a sneak peek really quick. Can we talk about this purple into like this beautiful grayish blue color? Oh my God, it's gonna look so amazing. So um, she really needs a trim. If your hair looks like this, guys, you probably need a trim. Kinda nasty, kinda gross. So I'm gonna be using these three products today. I already put this in her hair when it was air drying. Now I'm gonna put in some electric rain. This is a great product to use as a base for a really smooth blowout. I mean, it really gets all those little flyaways down, really smooths out your hair and rehydrates your ends. It makes it just so Oh, silky soft. Just because her hair is like super dry, she's gonna get some Viper. There's nothing better than some Viper smoothing oil in those ends to really tame the frizz, get them so sleek and smooth and add all proper nutrients. Ooh, you're gonna be so soft, girl. And my formula doesn't make your hair greasy, so you can actually put quite a bit in and it really dries into the hair. Let's get started blow drying. I think I'm gonna go for a very sleek, straight look because I like the way it looks right now and I don't wanna mess with it too much. I never do sleek, straight straight hair. We're gonna try it out today, and if I don't like it, maybe we'll end up doing something else. We'll see. Okay, we are all nice and blow dried. Now I'm gonna go in with my flat iron, of course, and make this so smooth. It's already looking so pretty, and maybe just cut off these ends like I said before. So let's do that. Okay, so I just finished styling my wig. Oh my God, it is so smooth and so damn straight and so damn flat to the head. <laughs> I feel like this might look good on me actually. Like for the first time, I feel like a wig might look good on me. I feel like I always look fucking crazy. Even though you guys tell me I look amazing in them, I don't believe you, but like, it's okay. I am gonna go off camera and I will see you once it's on my head and laid flat. I'll see you then. Are you ready for the reveal? <sighs> don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Okay, don't comment about like this going on because it's not laid down and it's slipping back. I have a big head um, and wigs don't fit me. So that's my excuse here. Did it end up more like a rainbow? Yes. It did. Am I kind of sad about it? Mm hmm yep. I clearly didn't over direct the hair enough, so it gives that prism kind of feel to it. It ended up not being so prism-like. I don't know, it still feels like it gives the effect, the illusion. I don't know why I like love to torture myself with wigs because they take me so long to do and then I never like the way they look. This is definitely not my profession, guys, so don't come for me. I don't make wigs for a living and there's definitely people that are a lot better than me at this. But I'm working on it and it's something I enjoy doing and that's all that really 
matters. If there's something that you enjoy doing, just do it. Even if you're not good at it, just do it. Just have fun with it. I do really like this purple into this grayish blue mauve color. It is really freaking pretty. Listen, it is laid flat to my head and I will give myself that much credit. Like, hello, am I wearing a wig or is this coming out of my head? And it's not even glued down. So just imagine how fierce it would look like. I do like also that we did the violet ends on the bottom and then the more bluish toned ends on the top. It's giving a really cool effect. I would actually love to see a full head just like this without the rainbow moment going on. But anyways, I'm gonna get this off my head and we can move on to the outro, shall we? Now that I'm back to my normal self, thank you guys for watching today's video, obviously. I'm sorry that it was a mess and next week I hope to improve. I'm glad the wig came out good. It was really iffy for a little while there and um you know what it was cute i think kind of make sure you guys follow me everywhere else i am everywhere here are all my social media handles so give me a follow make sure you guys check out xmodo hair at xmodohair.com or at xmodo hair on instagram you can also find the products i use on today's wig linked below make sure you guys text me at my real number that i can really text you back at and i will be texting some of you guys so text me today's instagram shout out goes to tanny and she says that she's been wanting to bold colors in her hair for a long time, but she's been doing the same box dye plum red color and she's over it. She just wants something really bold and fun. And um, I'm the perfect person to ask for that. Can't wait to help you with this. So what I'm envisioning for you is definitely staying in that purple family. I think it'll complement your skin a lot. I really do like this color on you, but I think you should go full on purple, 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 purple. Okay, deeper purple on the roots and then having your ends fade into a lighter purple with your curl pattern. That will look so unbelievable and amazing and if you do it let me know i would love to see it that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to live your extra life i'll see you next time bye guys